Hey, welcome back, multifamily investors. You know, we're looking at the market watch here for new listings system wide. Six came on last 24 hours, eight went pending. One of these pending, I can speak of, uh, we made an offer on a fourplex in South Seattle. We were one of seven, we came in third. So, you know, people talk about the market being hot and uh, why, are, how are people making deals work? <clears throat> well, my client was going to do 25% down. And it was a value add type opportunity, but you can see that, you know, basically they were one, won the deal. That means that there were six that lost out, us being one. So that's five other investors we'll be competing with going forward. So we have to keep that in mind, right? Uh, we'll dive into what we have here in the counties that I watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, potentially eight new properties to look at or back on market. This one's a back on market in Seattle. Do that's uh, let's see, one of a kind new construction masterpiece near UW. How can that be that much? Let's see. It says it's a duplex. Then it has three units listed here. So I don't know. Can't make sense of this one. And then it's three point eight million. I have to read this more closely. Um, Twelve beds, eleven baths. Oh, more like a student housing type of thing. Hmm. Interesting. No thanks. All right. Pierce, Tacoma, Park Ave, South Tacoma. Two homes, so it's not really a duplex again. Uh, it's multi generational type of thing or a single family with maybe small, two single families maybe. Uh, 1900 is a year. So if you're looking at house hack a deal, these are good opportunities, but I don't really like them as an investor myself, like a, a non-owner occupied investor. But if you're looking for a place to live instead of renting and you want to buy something and then have some rental income by renting out the other home, this could be another opportunity. The problem is when they're both rented or on leases, it's, uh, it's very tough to make that transition to take it over as an owner occupied buyer. So ideally you want to find something with one vacant unit that you can move in right away. Lender wants to see that too. Uh, let's see, Tacoma, we've got a fourplex. South Tacoma, uh, full at least fourplex for 850, built in 78. I know this area, so two beds, one baths. These are all kind of the same. You can see around surrounding areas. I mean, surrounding in that they were, they're all kind of the same type of property. I believe it's an HOA too. Uh, to look, go back and look. It has carports, not horribly um, updated, you know, since the 70s. It's a fireplace. Not building, building them with fireplaces anymore, that's for sure. Apartments, I mean. Need to be stacked washer dryer. Need some new flooring, this one. Looks like probably still popcorn ceilings too. Wall heaters. Not terrible. This is a little dated. It probably functions fine. Well, that ceiling. I look at stuff like this to see it looks like if there's patchwork, or maybe it's just bad lighting, but maybe if there's patchwork and there's a, a leak. You see a lot of rot around here at the bottom of these storage units. There's a reason it's 850, um, but you'll get to know if you're watching or know tracking the area, you'll understand why some of these, you know, some go for almost a million where some are low eights. Um, doesn't take much for you to drive by the property. Please don't disturb the tenants, of course, right? But you, you're welcome to drive by the property, kind of get a sense for the the community or the neighborhood itself, the block. Let's see what's in Edmonds. Oh, I saw this one come up in my email yesterday. Looked pretty nice. It's pretty rich though. Um, but there, there's one larger unit. The rest are all two beds, but they all are like townhome style. They have two car garages, um, balconies, no views. And I think it's on a little bit of a busier street. But little touches like little steps that lead down to the to the living room. You know, the two car garage, a full washer dryer, very ideal, plus another half bath. 
some storage. There's your little elevated dining area. But man, four units, you know, at 1.57, saying it's a 4.2 cap. Um, what were the rents? So it has, you know, this is the anomaly here at 2,000, but obviously I would think three bedrooms just about anywhere in the Puget Sound area. This, this size is definitely gonna go for more than that. And when you look at the two beds, you have a, almost $300 variance there from the highest and lowest. So there's definitely upside. That's pretty rich for four units uh, in Edmonds. Triplex and King, we have two that came back on the market. One's in Auburn. This is definitely diamond in the rough for that price. And then this one in Ballard Green Lake area. Three units for 1.7, very big. I think we covered this one just not too long ago. I don't like to spend a lot of time on ones I know right off the top that we've either covered before or not that are not ideal for most of the people watching or my clients. Uh, we're looking for you better opportunities, more unique, uh, that will be more to the traditional side of investment properties, not funky things or development opportunities, kind of like this. This is our development opportunity. And that's it. No seller finance opportunities. Uh, nothing down Thurston. So pretty quick video, nothing too exciting uh, to reveal or review, but that doesn't mean they're right or wrong or bad opportunities. If they park us, uh, pique your interest at all, let me know. I'm happy to send you more info. There's usually supplements that we call them up, uploaded these listings uh, that I can share with clients and some other private remarks sometimes about uh, that don't fit in the, in the, in the public remarks section. Sometimes us agents, we can do overflow remarks in a private agent only section. And sometimes I can share those with the clients. All right, thank you for watching.